Chainsaw Man's anime is airing on October 2022, just two months after the release of this video, and it could be absolutely massive, just like Power's titties, to the point where it could even eclipse Demon Slayer in terms of both sales and recognizability, even becoming a household name. In 2021 alone, it sold 4.1 million copies without even receiving an anime adaptation and ranked in the top five alongside Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen, and even ranked above One Piece. Internationally over in North America, sales records from February of 2022 reported that Chainsaw Man was ranked above Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen and even Attack on Titan, meaning it's even more popular overseas because you can just hear the amount of people barking for Makima. <laughs> Looking at the chart on screen, you can even see the sales data from Shueisha and Kodansha reporting how many manga volumes were in circulation and sold before, during, and after their respective animes aired. Each one of these was already close to 10 million before their anime started, but by the time they ended, they had all jumped to around 40 million copies added to circulation for a total of 80 million copies in circulation, and Demon Slayer saw the highest increase, jumping all the way to 100 million. That's a lot of fucking books. This is mostly because Demon Slayer appeals to a wider audience outside of just shonen fans, where Shijutsu Kaisen appeals to hardcore shonen fans, and Tokyo Revengers is just dog shit, and I have no idea why anybody buys it. Chainsaw Man is in a similar group as Demon Slayer, as illustrated by the amount of sales, and while it definitely has some action scenes, it doesn't spend dozens of pages and minutes explaining to you what fucking Black Flash does, god I hate it, and instead it just goes with the flow, the rule of cool if you will. There's no real explanations outside of some brief ones, and things just happen so long as they look cool, just like this fucking trailer, holy shit! The main bulk of the series though comes from the interpersonal character relationships, and that's what's pushed the series into the mainstream popularity, rather than the shonen fighting aspect itself. The same was true for Demon Slayer, wherein it was Tanjiro and Nezuko's bond, and in general how the eldest son won most of his fights by coming to understand the demons rather than pulling out some awesome new technique that resonated with more general audiences, and the same is true for Chainsaw Man, and also because we want Makima to spit in our mouths. The silly art style and characters help to bring it all together as you go on a journey of degeneracy with a fun main character like Denji who thinks he just wants to touch some boobs, but in reality he really just wants a family, people to laugh and cry with and be together together with, and the manga encapsulates that perfectly, leading it to resonate with the audience and become as big as it has, while at the same time still satisfying the shonen friends with great fights because HOLY SHIT MAPPA BROUGHT THEIR FUCKING A GAME GOD DAMN I had little hopes that MAPPA would actually succeed in not fucking up this adaptation, but the choice to go with primarily new voice actors for the cast, with the exception of Power's voice actor, was brilliant and can allow these actors to really encapsulate these characters. That coupled with the amazing animation, sense of fluidity in the movement and action, and in general what seems to be great acting direction, and no CG leads us to getting a great product that may even exceed the manga. My only worry is that, as said, Chainsaw Man can be rather slow, silly, and methodical, and both trailers haven't really shown any of those sides of the series, instead choosing to focus primarily on the action, especially from the earlier chapters of the manga. It's great that those scenes look immaculate, but they're only about 30% of the series, while the other 70% is comedic character bonding moments or outright evil manipulation, god I love her, so I'm worried as to whether or not MAPPA and the team handling it can pull those off, but considering they've proved me wrong again and again now, I'm hopeful that they'll actually be able to pull it off and even exceed the manga as an adaptation should. Chainsaw Man is an actual good and well thought out story that constantly defies your expectations and can even be a bit deep if you choose to analyze it, meaning that there's something there for everyone which thus makes it a lot better than the likes of Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen which are, by and large, just pretty basic shonen stories, so it's for that reason that it it won't surprise me when Chainsaw Man exceeds them both and becomes legendary. <laughs>